there, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft Word video. In this video, you'll learn how to save a document as a template. Let's get started. Say you've created a document with a header, footer, page numbers, and some cool formatting, and you'd like to copy and reuse it over and over again. Now, this could be a document that you've created from scratch, or it could actually be a document that you've accessed through the Word templates that you've customized for your company. So for example, this is actually a newsletter template from the Microsoft Word template gallery and I've customized it. So for example, this could be customized for your monthly newsletter for your company. But then once you customize it, including maybe some pictures and some branding logos and colors, then you would want to consider saving it as a template. The mere act of saving and renaming your document over and over and renaming it does not convert it into an actual template. If you're copying and reusing a document over and over, you might want to consider saving your document as a template. When saving a document as a template, the file extension changes from DOCX to DOTX. A master copy of your document is saved in a different location, thereby preserving an original copy of your document with no danger of the original file getting changed or edited. You could reuse the template as many times as you wish, and even delete all the document versions, but the original copy is always saved in a safe place. Let's take a look at how you would save a template, and then we'll see the template in action. So in this example, I have this monthly newsletter that I've customized and I want to save it as a template. So I'm going to click File, Save As. So next you would normally, when you click Save As, you would select the location of where you want to save your document. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click this PC and click us, uh, my samples folder. But what you want to do is look on the bottom and look at the save as type and it normally defaults to DOCX and in this case you're going to click on the drop down and select Word Template. And notice it has DOTX file extension. I'm going to click there and notice two things happened. One, the file extension automatically changed to DOTX and the location of where it's saving changed here as you could see to the custom office templates. It's a default location of where all templates are stored and you don't have to worry about pointing to the location or understanding where the location is. Just know that Word has a special place that it saves all the templates. So that's just, those are just two things to note. Once you select the save as type as word template, just click save. Now to see the template in action, I've moved to a blank document window and I want to click file new and notice when I do that, it gives me the option of selecting blank document and a Microsoft word template. And what I want to do is click personal. And when I click personal, you might recognize that this is the monthly newsletter that I have saved as a Microsoft Word template. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and it opens up the template and at the top you could see that the document is not named yet because it's pulled from the Microsoft Word personal templates which would include any templates that you have saved from your document screen to a template or DOT file extension. So what you would do at this point is you would customize your document as needed. So in this case, if it's a monthly newsletter, maybe I would change the month and the year, I would change the title, and I would change the content. When I'm ready to save the document, I would save this document as I normally would with File Save As, and select the, loop, the folder where I want to save it and it would save with a DOCX file extension. So now each time you need to use your master template, you could easily find it via File New and clicking the Personal tab. It's as easy as that to save your document as a template. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have on Microsoft Word templates, creating templates, and customizing templates.
If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.